Lady and gentlemen, next uh, we talk about the sixth topic of refreshing chance talks. Verbal virtue and the subdued perfume send the merciful words is like having a fragrant lotus in the mouth. Send a useful words is like having an odorous soul in the mouth. And in a appropriate uh, speech, or malicious tool can cause others to feel repellent and loathe. The speech needs to be said appropriately, both too long and too short are not all good. In daily life, the confusions of the treating the people and dealing with a face is the polite word that one forgets to say when one talks to someone. Instead, one can't help but to use the impolite words. Therefore, a wise individual only says what is necessary while an unfiled person might not think me for talking and often uses inappropriate and harsh words or the speech is incoherent and confusion. All this not only offend others but also cause others to have repentance and uh, the parents. While we harm others, we do not uh, benefit ourselves in the process, do we? Very often, there are people who speak whatever comes to their mind without deliberation, and they argue externally that they are good-hearted men. They would argue that it may seem like that they are talking impolitely, but in fact, they are just being frank and outspoken. Master always says, if one talks impolitely plus one has bad temper, how can the heart be good? This all are not good people. The words spoken can be sold as the product and uh, the heart is the factory manufacturing the products. Saying impudent words that are not pleasant to hear, can one still argue ostensibly that they have a good heart within themselves? Sometimes we suffer from the good balance. On the surface, we pretend to be calm, but the innermost feelings of unsettled gravity are lasting like low fever. You one can really ease the lasting whip over one's heart and the grudge and let both gentleness and kindness be shown internally and externally. Then this person is an authentic, good-hearted person. Why do, we, why do we learn Buddhism? It is to learn the Buddhist words and deed, behavior and models. Moreover, the mission of the Buddha coming to the world is to educate the human males on how to get along with people and respect all living beings. The Buddha say, the attitude of learning Buddhism should be down to earth. 
The principle is to be tactful, so as to make the people joyful when he come to dealing with people and、uh, handling the affairs. Then this human means is considered to be sensible. The human means are constantly troubled by the affairs around. Therefore, one must learn to deal with people and handle the affairs first, which is the first lesson in learning Buddhism. The Buddha say it's well. If one is hurt with a sharp knife, the cut can easily heal the heal up. Heal up. If one is hurt by abusiveness, it is hard to eliminate their hatred. As a person who is learning the Buddhism, one must bear in mind the saying of "He that talks much earns much." Practice verbal virtue and comply with the verbal karma. And then you will reach the halfway mark in the success of the dealing with people and the handling the affairs. Don't you agree? Next, talk about the seventh topic of the first chain talks is what's the worst suffering in the world. The most difficult to tolerate is the last. Hatred is nothing less than the fire of anger. The worst suffering is to have this material body, birth, disease, old age, and death arise from this body. The bliss is nothing less than tranquil extinction. Stop the pursuing for the happiness in the material world. What one shall pursue is the joy of the spiritual world. One, or、uh, only they can one have ease and comfort forever. Once there were four the bishops, a Buddhist monk, a sitting under a tree, and、uh, were. Uh, discussing what the worst suffering in this world is. The worst suffering in this world is to suppress sexual passion. No way to man anger is the worst suffering. In this world, there is nothing worse than women. Mean, frightened is the worst suffering. While they were still arguing, the Buddha happened to pass by. The four the bishops stood up, a bow to the Buddha, and asked for an instruction. The Buddha said, "All of you, the punishments." Of the suffering, do not even touch its real meaning. The worst suffering of life is to possess the flesh. With this flesh, with this flesh body, one is only aware of hunger, thirst, coldness, hardness. Hardness, shows joy, anger, sadness, pleasure, get sick and ill, and is filled with greed, hatred, and ignorance. Therefore, the body of flesh is the root of all pains, the zone of the disaster. In this entire universe, all things as living beings are endlessly 
generates one after another, yet the hidden crisis lurk in land, such as attack, slaughter, devastation, and uh, destruction with each other. As bound by the life, living beings are reincarnated and die unceasingly, all because of the body of flesh. So, in order to escape from the suffering and to pursue eternal tranquil extinction as well as to reach the state of the nimana of no birth and no death. One must restrain the delusions. The man might might wipe out the liars, request nothing, and practice diligently on precept, meditation, and wisdom. Forgo all attachment, and instantly you would be free, and then feel at ease in the heart, as well as refreshing and free. The most difficult to tolerate is lust. Hatred is nothing less than fire of anger. The first suffering is to have this material body. Birth, disease, old age, and death arise from this body. The bliss is nothing less than tranquil extinction. Stop pursuing for the happiness in this material world. What one should pursue is the joy of spiritual world. Only they can one have ease and comfort forever. Amitabha is, is an omniscient Buddha. He knows all living creatures much well and they saw their distress and tiredness. He leads lands to get away from the three rains. Self cultivation can conquer the evil scripture. The Buddha refers to this verse to encourage his disciple in making every effort to offer the pride to Saint Buddhism so as to escape the suffering of endless. Recognition and reach the pure land of Amitabha of Timothy. Ladies and gentlemen, all lay the Buddhist. Why do you think is the worst suffering in the world? When you recite this verse, can you figure out? Can you figure it out uh, with a new realization? Next, we talk about uh, the reflection. The chain talk is why spill of money. The Buddha say that money is held by the five familiar of the plow, the fire, the thief, the government, authorities, and unfilial descendants all together. Everybody likes money. It is indispensable in life. Mean which by no means evil and is a perfectly justifying matter. But the gentleman 
who is ever delicious of wealth earns its low for it. Wealth must be obtained in the right form, reasonable way. Otherwise, money also can become a poisonous snake, not bite. We must guard against and be careful with it. Avoid being bitten and laying the great life long. A medicine must emphasize on the qualities of credit and the harness instead of the cheating. He should be self-respect and self-love to engage in the legitimate business and promote the development of an enterprise with a number more heart. Number six, the acquisition, uh, acquisition of money by walking all sort of back door, violating the conscience, morality, and justice. Do not do things that are against the cause and effect, especially to harm others to benefit oneself. If one does not collaboratively take the ill garden wheels, one will not indulge in sensual pleasures and commit sins. Looking at the present issue of the smiling, smuggling, firearms uh, and the trade of narcotics, etc. All of these are because the worthless merchants are seeking out uh, the benefits and the result of all means. They go against one's conscience to commit evil acts, victimize the innocent, and uh, endanger the public security of the society. An officer work who does not know to work diligently, but instead only wants to the boss's appreciation, thankfulness, job promotions, as a lies in salary. One complains about the company when one does, doesn't get what, 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 get what one wants. One even in the first and uh, sabotage company's business as an effect of retaliation. All of this start with desires. When one indulge in sensuous pleasures, one who violated the law such as committing the crimes of embezzles, public crimes. As one commits more things, it is the same as putting oneself in helplessness. One of the Buddhist sutra states, Less desires and be content. Be content with one's lot and then one will always be happy. Therefore, in order to do well in our work, we must work hard and diligently, abide by law and be have ourselves do our duties well, and so on. Thus, but not the least.
degree for to anything and anyone. The Buddha say that the money is held by five familiar of the fly, the fire, the ship, the government, authority, and the unfilial descendants to all together. Therefore, it is only that then to us to use temporarily, we don't warm it solely. If one completely understands this point, one ought to be content with what his God and what his God and happy forever. In turn, one knows to practice almsgiving and to give just like this the same. A content man will feel happy even if he is poor. A discontent man will feel worried even if he is rich. Money in this world must be earned and uh, used in purpose ways. If one does not uh, worry about uh, running out of the daily supplies and has spared to save fortune, retirement, and uh, ill wish. That is enough. That is enough. Why bother to ask for more? More we are run out too. He once throws one sail into the, the deep sea of money, which is full of the bitterness instead of the getting out. Why we only bring trouble to oneself? This is the wise view of money. My Wise friend, let us possess and use money with a happy and contented heart. In that case, we will definitely live a refreshing, happy, and bright life. Uh, next, uh, we talk about uh, the refreshing talks is uh, observing precept and uh, chanting the Buddha's name. Those who hold the uh, attachment will fall into the reincarnation in the sixth destiny after death. Anyone has the intention of attaining the birth in the world of uh, almost a job. However, if they fail to comply with the three laws of the cause and effect, they will be unable to ascend to the western pure land. All of you may have some bad habits. It is very important that you show relinquish then and observe the precepts. One, do not cling to your pace. One of the, one of the precepts observed by Buddha's left home people read, Buddha's left home people are not allowed to keep the animals. Such as keeping the cats, dogs, birds, and the fish, etc. As keeping animals, we are generated from find attachment and affection for land. No matter how advanced a Buddhist left home person's practice is, or even if he has already achieved enlightenment, he will be the born in the form of the animal he loved and 
they connected are a human being again outer being and animal once one of the buddha's disciple pride the buddha son in the mountain and attain enlightenment during the time of the civil cultivation a dear owner accompany him as time passed by he had a greater affection for the deer and loved it more and more but one day the deer suddenly disappeared and he missed very much every day when he died he was unexpected and unexpectedly reborn at a deer As he had attained enlightenment, he realized that he was reborn as a deer, and the fear, and the fear of fear and the great fear. He ran into a tree to kill himself without any hesitation. Then he was. Reincarnated as a human being, and renounced the secular life to become a Buddhist monk again. The above example tells us not to cling to any animal; otherwise, we you will be born in the form of the animal we cling to, or we are obsessed with. The partly article say, "Those who are attached to the anything will fall into the sixth destiny of recognition of the days. Therefore, if we cling to something, we will be bound by it of the days. Two, do not admit." The Buddha say, "You, you admit this life. You will be the born as animals for people to kill in life to come." The Sutta Gamma Sutra says, "As people eat the seed, the seed they they connect as a person, and they consumed each other in an." And the cycle, they all and they pay up to each other. The evil karma brought about will last for infinite couples. Thus, they suffer from the reincarnation constantly. If you eat dough meat, you will be. Reborn as a dog, like was mountain, a sheep, chicken, a chicken, a pig, a pig. The Sutta Gama Sutra says, "You meet eaters whose pride has reached the highest level of meditative absorption. Keep their meat eating habit unchanged." The higher level practitioners, at the best, will become a powerful ghost king. After this, the middle level, a flight demon, and the lowest level, an earth demon. According to the Buddha's teachings, it is absolutely impossible for the Can the virus to be liberated and reborn in the world of the almost jewel? Even those high stable practitioners can, at the best, be reincarnated as powerful ghost kings, such as the king Yama, 
the city guard and the other ghost accessory of the days. Those in the middle level are the flying stables such as the guard of the mountains, the guard of streams, the guard of trees, and the guard of earth. Those in the low level are the earth plus sus, who suck the essential perfume, Nima, uh, nima, essential nima, uh, and the blood from the human beings. For instance, the vampires, which are known as Mo Xinna in Taiwanese. The Surigama Sura says, Lives are anniversary kill to serve as a fool for human beings, and there will be no killing if they don't eat meat. So, both meat eaters and the live killers commit the same sin. Killing the living is to meet meat eaters' need. Who are the uh, executioners? and commit severe things than the killers. Be sure to keep in mind that if you want to be the born in the Western Pure Land, it is absolutely important that you don't eat meat. Three, do not kill Living beings. Those who often kill chickens will be the born as chicken after days. Those who often kill dogs will be reconnected as dog. And those who kill snake will be reconnected as snake. I once saw butchers in the night market and find them look like pig out a long time. Those who are specialized in killing snake look like snake. And those who often kill dog look like dog. I also the laboratory Notice their voice and when then even sound like those barks, how say they are. You must bear these three precepts in mind. Rising animal is all right, but feeling for an attachment to land should be avoided. Middle eaters will not be able to achieve their goodness even if they are diligent in recite sutras or mantra. As long as you keep eating meat for holding more, this criminalization suit, distress, discernment, delusions, stitchiness, or speak harshly. Your mantra for such a recitation will be infective. That's because if you are my and speech are not pure, your mantra for such a recitation will be all in the main. The foremost thing of the changing the Buddha's name is to keep the mind and the speech pure so as to achieve the merit of chanting mantra and reciting the Buddha's name. And to be reborn in the pure land.
Next, uh, we talk about uh, deflation chain talk is celebrating New Year with tolerance, gratitude, and vigorousness. We show Look at others' virtues more. Don't just remember others' defect. Be strict we use oneself and lean uh, towards others. Did you enter towards others? Huh? All people with the new ears around the corner, how do we adjust and change ourselves to face the new year and with what attitude towards others, towards others? One, for sake, the hatred that we have incurred with others from the past. As a Buddha learns, one must be brought the might, the broader the might, the bigger the basin. Firstly, we must fully understand why we incur hatred with others and disturbed by this allowing predestined relationship. This is because we owe it to them last life. The retributions that we suffered today is to be considered as pain one step. Which should be done happily. Therefore, one shouldn't bear grudge. Many people have to in for having dispute with someone over some middle issues. Every soul of it allows the resentment. Why were you so sick? I let put down the annoying predestined relationship made with others from the past. Only like that, the true the diamond happiness can be achieved. Two, accept the defect committed by others from the past. Uh, mean I not sense. How can they be free from the fault? Anyone has a virtue and the defect. Anyone so? We should look at others' virtue more. Uh, don't just remember others' defect. Be three with oneself and the uh, end the towards others. This is uh, the kindness of Buddha learning show process. There has consistently been a big phenomena in the circle of Buddhism, namely gossiping. Buddhism teaches people to be be benevolent and tolerant. Yet it isn't the case in the circle of the Buddhism. Whether it is between temples or between the master or among the, among the master, disciple and the follower, followers, there had always been criticism, slanders and gossiping. This is because we only see others' defect. 
a slight mistake in others' statements or actions. Criticism lies from all directions. Then, the temple, which has been peaceful and quiet, will no longer be tranquil. He must be knowing that because of our soldiers, criticism and surrenders, many masters and followers have lost their faith. Wow, what a terrible thing. So, from now on, I must myself uh, don't hope to see Gaspers enter the family hall for worshiping the Buddha. I hope in this new year anyone can accommodate others' defect. Do not let the Gaspian ruin the peace and the quietness at the temples. Okay? Three, be grateful to the grace that others did two hours in the past. As a five, thank you, your husband, for this year's toy of making money for the family. It is coming New Year's. Five years will be more gentle and uh, considerate to their husband. While husbands show thank their wife for taking care of the entire family and love them more dearly. Students should thank teachers' teachings and return to study more diligently in the coming year. Son and daughter should thank their parents for looking after them and be you in return. Disciples should be grateful to master merciful teaching and the practice Buddhism even harder. Employee should thank employers for the job opportunity and me more responsible. Fire Employers show thank employees for their hard work and in return give them better benefit. Men are benevolent, a man without justice and morality and knows no gratitude cannot be regarded as men. Towards our syllables, one, you delinquency all the bad habits that we got into from the past year. Human beings have made bad habits such as greed, a bad temper, prejudice, arrogance, selfishness, jealousy and uh, suspicious, etc. Relinquish this bad habit uh, one by one in this coming new year. Last year, traffic tragedy news kept uh, pointing in. Send trucks kept causing accidents again and again. That was because truck driver did not abide the traffic laws. They cared about their convenience instead of other life. Try to think how many familiars were scattered due to the traffic accident. We asked the Buddha students sure abide the traffic laws when we drive and think for others at all time. 
Greece is a bad habit that many people fell into. Where this originate from the Greek? In other words, Greece is the root of all worries. The greed for fame, wealthy and love has made people use every means in one's power, and this has caused many tragedies. The other day, I read down the newspaper that an old man who suffered from the dementia, dementia was taken to the hospital by his son and lived alone. Later, his son and family moved away, lying next to this old man in his warm bed. In warm bed is a vegetable char. Who was who was being looked after by his mother without a rest? See Ibn Chant, Mahakaruna Mitra. Days and nights in the hope of the child could recover soon. By comparing the two, how hard a chain it makes one feel. Not being filial to parents is the worst habit. We must break off this bad habit in the coming year as the neighbor fall into it again. Two. Realize the unfinished wishes we met in the last year. All the benevolent wishes we met in the last year, namely the Pratis Buddhism, diligently learned the Buddhism, be a volunteer work, study hard, work on a particular knowledge, or do something meaningful. Many wishes that manifest the society and the people must be realized. People are likely to be keen at something for a short period of time or get affected by the environment. Whatever benevolent wishes one has made before, one often cannot persist to the end, to their last name. One must know the other success don't just happen by chance. The only way is to get your hands on it and uh, and to uh, accumulate bit by bit. Only then success will come one day. Three. Persist in. Observing the good precept that we had star in the past years, all good did we did last year, and the merit that we possess shall be persist in the new coming years. For example, uh, we quit drinking last year. Uh, this year we shall keep. This good habit, and overcome the shortcoming. Moreover, moreover, much body for all on the law of practicing Buddhism. If we can practice according to the above, uh, about the mentioned, then this year. We are surely be a happy and a bright year. Let's encourage each other. Okay. Uh, I used the the last time uh, uh, the talk of the French time word for uh, for anybody. Uh, New Year for other people, 
we can forsake all years hatred left from the le- last year. We can accept all the shortcoming people defect the last year. We can be grateful to the grace that people did to us in the last year for ourselves. We can end all the bad habits left from the last year. We can be grossly work unfinished wishes in the last year. We can continue to persist in the good principle in the last year. The thumbs up would bless you. Amitabha.